Hi, I'm Helen. Today I'm going to show you how to put up a picture drilling into a brick wall. Power tools from everywhere. Today I'm going to show you how to put a picture up on a brick wall. If you're not familiar with drilling, I recommend that you see the first video on drilling where you get to know the basics. To complete this job, you're going to need your drill. You drill bits and bobs, wall plugs, screws, a hammer, and your screwdriver. So today, we're gonna hang a picture on the wall. But before you hang a picture on the wall, or anything on your wall, you should find out what type of wall it is. What's your wall made of? A good way of doing this is to just knock on the wall. If you hear a solid sound, this means that your wall is either brick or concrete. Knock again, and you hear a hollow sound, it means it's plasterboard. Whatever your wall is made of, we don't recommend that you should do any drilling above, below, around, anywhere near a plug socket. This video is for drilling into a brick wall. So if you have a plasterboard wall, don't use this video. Find a different one. Power tools for every woman. Power tools for every woman. Okay, to hang anything on a brick wall, we need two things, a wall plug and a screw. A wall plug is something that we need to grip the screw in place in the wall. Without it, the screw would fall out. Commonly, wall plugs come in three sizes. There's others, but we're working with three. We've got the yellow one, which was for light things. For example, a hook. We have the red, which for medium weighted things like a picture frame. And we have brown for those heavy loaded shells. So today we're going to use the red wall plug. And once we've decided this, we need to find the screw. Finding the right size screw for your wall plug is a bit of trial and error um, because you want to have a screw that is just as long as the wall plug, but then a little longer there. So there's an overhanging bit. And you also want to make sure that the screw isn't too um, thick, so it's narrower than the wall plug. So when you do screw that in, it doesn't expand the wall plug too much. The final thing we need to decide today is what size drill bit to use. And it should be the drill bit that can go through the brick wall. If you're unsure which size to use, usually on your wall plugs packet, there's a key. And today, because we're using the red one, we can look and it says that we should be using the six size. So if we go to our box of tools here, we can pick out the size six. And this is what we'll be using today. We've made our final decision. We've got our drill bit, we've got our screw, we've got our wall plug, but there is an easier way to make these decisions. There is a handy guide that will tell you all you need to know, the different sizes, what goes with which. It's on your screens now, take a look. Okay, so now it's ready to get our drill ready. We've chosen our drill piece, for the brick wall um, and I've opened the chuck by turning it clockwise and I'm going to put the drill piece in um, as far as it can go and then I'm going to turn the chuck anti-clockwise as far as it will go. All the time I'm doing this my directional lever is on safety in the middle. We need to find out how deep that we need to drill. And how we do this, the little trick that I've got, is we take our wall plug and we size it up against our drill bit. And then we get out the masking tape and we mark where that wall plug sits on the drill piece. And that means once we start drilling, we just go up to the masking tape and that should be enough drilled in the wall. There's a lot of guesstimation in this, but what we can do is turn it round, 
put our pretendy screw in there and we can see there's a few inches at the top. So keep your finger in there and let's just put it against the wall so we can roughly get a place where we're going to put it. Then just keep your finger in there and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a pencil and mark the spot roughly and this is where we're going to drill to put our screw. Let's just get our screw and make a dint there in the wall and this will help us when we come to start drilling. I'm going to just turn this clutch ring down to the drill mode and why is because we're trying to get through some tough old wall there and it's going to be hard it's going to be difficult so we're going to take it slow and steady to start off with i'm going to shift my directional lever to the right so we can start going in i'm off the safety we're ready slow and steady Support it underneath so you can stay at a right angle throughout the motion. Slow and steady. All right, I'm going to stop it there. Um, because we've got part way in, I'm going to change from the drill mode now to the hammer mode. We've got some purchase in there, we've got some room, so I'm going to change it to the hammer mode and then it won't be jumping around. And remember, when you're taking your drill out the hole, keep your finger on the trigger. Keep it in motion, pulling it out, because it can get stuck in there otherwise, and it also helps the debris to come on out. So let's test if it's a big enough hole to take the wall plug. Really, it should go in easily and it should be lying flat. That's a snug fit. We did a good job getting in this wall plug, but sometimes a little might hang out. It's all right to give it a little tap to get it in so it's a nice snug fit. Next, let's put that screw in the wall plug. And we're just going to screw it in there and it's going quite easy. All right, just a couple more turns there. You see, I've left a bit of the screw overhanging because that's where we're going to put our picture frame. And there we go. Job done. <laughs>